our son is in intensive care right now due to complications from a procedure done to determine the cause of pneumonia. He has been in the hospital four times. This is his fourth visit over the past two months, over two months. The first visit we went in, he was diagnosed with a pneumonia based on an x-ray and diminished sounds in his lung, his right lung. There was about, you know, here's the lung, the lower part of the lower lobe is filling up with fluid. We told them at that point, through all of the communications and questions, that he is not vaccinated. And the course of action was set to give him uh, antibiotics because it was determined that, or yeah, determined that that was the cause. There was, there was some type of bacteria that we needed to hit it with antibiotics. Uh, we did that. He had a reaction about a week later to the amoxicillin. He had shallow breath. His oxygen level was very low. By that time we brought him in, took him to the emergency room. It was determined at that time that uh, he had an allergic reaction to it. They changed the medication. Determination was made that it's still caused by something, bacteria, sewer bacteria, microbacteria, maybe a virus, although the virus presents differently. So, more drugs. Um, third visit, we came in again after about another week and a half, two weeks. Third visit, fluid had increased from the first to the second to the third, increasing throughout the lung. Uh, another drug was given. And finally, the fourth visit, we came here to do what's called a bronchoscopy, which is where they take and take a probe and they go down, they put the patient to sleep, they, they take a probe down, and they, um, they can take a look, it has a little, a little scope, they flush it out and they take some of the fluid. When they were doing this procedure, they, the major airway that goes to the right lung, as they were moving down, they encountered an obstruction had scar tissue around it, which suggests that it had been there for some time. In hindsight, they went to the hospital. Once do they say something could be in his lungs? No, all along, all four visits, we encountered anger, actual anger from the people that, that were trying to help us, supposedly. And the anger was pointed at the fact that our kids are not immunized. They don't have their shots. It was a choice we made. Instead of looking at possible solutions, causes to the problem, we encountered anger and frustration. And we were treated as the enemy. been so much easier if we had somebody with an open mind that could have just thought perhaps something's in his lungs and taken a look a long time ago he wouldn't be in intensive care. Okay. Well,